give in to the mass hysteria revolving around COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. Focus on what is in your control instead of focusing on everything around you that you cannot. Focus your energy where it matters. Start making a difference and start making an impact. We have evolved from just more than a health and wellness podcast. We are gamers that focus on the brighter side of gaming to bring positivity into perspective, to uplift one another, and to even make a difference. We are taking a more positive approach to gaming. And now let's begin. I'm your host, Itiagu, and it's episode 41. Is COVID-19 affecting new game releases, especially the gaming industry as a whole? We do have new games that just came out recently, uh, the Resident Evil 3 remake as well as Final Fantasy 7 remake. Final Fantasy 7 I've heard, actually I've heard some good things from both games. And I do believe that I'm starting to be... uh, I might actually give in and give Resident Evil a try. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the demo. And we'll see if I enjoy it, even though this will be my first Resident Evil game in general. If I enjoy it, I'll go ahead and buy the remake on Steam. As for Final Fantasy VII, unfortunately it's a timed exclusive for the PlayStation 4 for a year. So I won't be available on other platforms on April of 2021. So I was so excited for this game until I heard it was a timed exclusive. I do believe that platform exclusives are not the norm anymore, but timed exclusives are the new norm. So instead of making a game specifically for just one console, they'll go ahead and make it a timed exclusive for a month, three months, six, a year, what have you, and push it to other platforms. So I believe that the second platform is PC, and it may or they may not come to Xbox, Switch, what have you. So there has been a whole bunch of delays, and just the gaming industry as a whole has been affected by COVID-19. According to Push Square, the games that have been delayed with no ETA in sight are the following. The Last of Us Part 2, Iron Man for PSVR, as well as Ghost of Tsushima. Even all Microsoft events are going digital first all the way through July 2021. And this is coming from PS Gamer. Microsoft has confirmed that it's moving to a digital first strategy when it comes to events, though it didn't confirm how long this will be the case. It will be for at least the rest of the year, while the email to MVP said July 2021, nor how will it affect plans for E3, GDC, as well as other events. In quotes, in light of the challenges presented by COVID-19, we are adjusting our our event calendar and strategy, said a Microsoft spokesperson for the remainder of 2020. We are embracing the opportunity to experiment with new platforms to promote our partners, customers, and developers the highest quality digital first experiences. Is a new Saints Row still in development? And this is coming from GameSpot. We've known for some time that a new Saints Row, presumably Saints Row 5, will be announced sometime this year, but the announcement of a Saints Row 3 remastered left some fans wondering if that was all the hype was about. Not so, says Deep Silver, which clarified that a proper and new Saints Row entry is still in development. In response to a fan expressing some disappointment about the remaster, the official Saints Row Twitter account explained that Volition is at work on a Saints Row game, while the Saints Row 3 Remastered Edition is coming from a completely separate studio, Sparasoft. That suggests the plans to unveil the new Volition game are still on. Volition has developed all of the Saints Row games in the franchise. 
and the new world the new MMO coming from Amazon Game Studios and this is another uh, another article coming from GameSpot as the spread of COVID-19 continues many game developers across the industry have had to scale back development and accumulate to social distancing due to this sudden change the developers Amazon Games upcoming MMO New World have revealed that its release has been pushed back all the way to August 25th 2020 New World has originally set to release in May of this year which was revealed during the Game Awards last December in the devs blog post game director Scott Lane stated that due to the current circumstances regarding the pandemic development on the game had been scaled back for health and safety concerns give me a moment wow that's a whole bunch of news to swallow is there any games that you guys were looking forward to had the unfortunate effect of being delayed let me know in chat and as always this is going to be open q a so if you would like to discuss something in chat let me know or you can go ahead and take care of that in Discord. Wow, that was a hard pill to swallow with all these lays and this COVID-19 coronavirus shakeup. You just need to adapt because this might even be our new norm. So stop making excuses and start taking control of your life of your happiness because that is what truly matters now we go on to the next segment of the show where we discuss what we've been playing what we've been pursuing what we've been enjoying and what have you so animal crossing would be the first game that I've taken a keener interest in. It's just such a tremendous game to escape everything that's happening around in the real world. And especially with the Easter event going on now, today is the last day. Oh, also for those who celebrate it, happy Easter. Hope you enjoy this with your loved ones. Even if you can't physically, do it digitally. Zoom. Facebook Live, Instagram, WhatsApp, what have you, Google Hangouts, start, start checking up on your loved ones and do not take them for granted. So I hope everyone's doing great and doing the best they can in this unforeseen circumstance. So even if the live podcast ends, you could also let me know in chat, let me know in Discord, or you can even let me know on social media, or you just look up the positive impact. You could also catch the live show of the podcast every Sunday over on Mixer at mixer.com backslash POS Tech Gaming. And okay, so we talked about Animal Crossing, the event, the bunny event. Destiny, I've been playing that more, and as I said earlier, I'm going to give Resident Evil 3 Remake the demo a try, and if I enjoy the game, even though the trailer re looked really good, I'll just go ahead and buy the Steam ver the full version of the game over on Steam. Also, these community events. If there is a game that you would like me to build a tournament around, let me know in Discord by clicking on the Discord image down below. If there is enough feedback or if enough people uh, want it, if there are enough votes, I will go ahead and organize a tournament of some sort around that game. Or we could even do, instead of just building a tournament, we could build a community play date. So we just, instead of being competitive, we'll just go ahead and enjoy this particular game. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on now. Once there is enough votes, I'll go ahead and build a tournament around it. So I believe that is what I'm going to focus on. And yeah. Wow, this is a short news week. It's never been this short. <laughs> like There's barely anything happening in the gaming industry. Because of what's happening, because everyone's uh, working from home. 
and development just been pushed back because a lot of studios a lot of companies are just aren't built for remote development from working from home so this was out of our control we just need to focus and adapt on making the best out of the situation focus on the good that is doing the good that is doing for the environment and you will prosper we will all get through this together i'm seeing a couple posts on twitter about animal crossing final fantasy 7. oh what does everyone think about that ps5 controllers dual sense new design uh, if you are a fan of the new uh, dual tone design let me know in chat for me personally i enjoy it even though the only PlayStation console that I've actually played was the OG PSP. Well, other than that, I haven't touched the PlayStation. The PSP was definitely above its time. It's way ahead of its of when I was first when it first came out. Gonna ahead and cut this stream short. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future content on the show, let me know in chat. Let me know in Discord by clicking, simply clicking on the Discord image down below. Join the Discord server. Join the positive impact. And make the impact in your own life. So as always, if you enjoyed the show, I was making a more positive impact into your life. Let us know on social media. Let us know on Discord, or you can let us know by, and this will be available soon on Pasca services around the globe, on Spotify, on Apple, on Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, and more. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for your tremendous support and helping us grow. And I would also like to make another note you could also support the positive impact support the channel support the uh, the cause support us of making a more impact in people's lives by going to our landing page and clicking on the support link it would tremendously be appreciated it's not necessary and thank you guys and have a great one stay positive stay humbled stay blessed and above all do not take anything or anyone for granted and appreciate those you have around you yahoo out